good morning happy to be here uh, we are going to talk a lot we are going to interact among ourselves today it will be nice stop 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 you see this is the problem this is a mistake many presenters make today with their first impression what do you mean what i mean is anupama thank you for that demonstration but a lot of the times people actually are you ready they are boring in their presentation um patricia fip said many years ago the number one sin a communicator can make is being boring that's right if you are boring people cannot actually for, forgive you for that at all so you have 7 seconds to make a first impression 7 seconds that's all and you the way you made the presentation right now is how most people start the presentation good morning happy to be here and i often tell them if you're happy show you're happy happy to be here what is this right so show that happiness with your enthusiasm so th- that the biggest thing that many people do and this good morning thing that that goes on it's kind of like you know you meet a friend after a long time you don't ask them you don't say good morning happy to see you you're like hey and and you are like you have that general enthusiasm but the people that we are meeting every single day in the office or in the neighborhood how do you talk to them hey how are you they say good good how are you you say good good you know none of these words actually have any meaning at all like how are you how are you good good what's up or you meet somebody every single day and say what's up yeah nothing good it's not Funny, a very good it's like yeah. those you know you know unnecessary high tea recipes that we have in those weddings that nobody even looks at yeah yeah well, all those salads <laughs> and all that that you know there are 25 different salads but nobody even looks at them there's like where is my mutton where is my chicken <laughs> because we look for that content we look for that particular uh, thing that particular thing i don't know what particular thing she's talking about that particular thing but it's very important that you don't use i call them unpleasant pleasantries unpleasant pleasantries how are you everybody at home is fine see the other person knows i don't care about the everybody's home you know everybody at the, the home Not either anything. yeah but generally you want to be genuine in your first impression so you have 7 seconds so when you go there you have three things to do all the time you know in your presentation of course there are structures and all that we talk about it in the confident speaker conference but you want to do three things you ready to hear this sure number 1 you want to grab people's attention number 2 you want to hold their attention and number 3 you want to direct their attention meaning that's pretty easy you grab people's attention in the first 7 seconds throughout your content you hold you control their attention and in the end you direct their attention to something else so that they take action now so don't be boring and absolutely don't start with good morning happy to be here because you have 7 seconds to make a first impression and the three things are grab people's attention hold people's attention and direct their attention these are the three tips i think that can help people overcome their boredom and boring presentation and make them uh, you know give very very powerful and confident first impression so go ahead overcome the boredom give confident presentations today i hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed creating it for you and if you really want to join the confident speaker conference which is our two day intensive public speaking program call this number below which means if you want to become a great powerful and confident speaker call this number below today i am dr pravin sundarkar i am prosthodontist dentist by profession practicing at nagpur maharashtra and working as a professor in amravati dental college i am taking day to day lectures in my institute as well as i take workshops uh, at various places in maharashtra but the di- biggest challenge to me was a little bit stage fear not i can say i am i was confident about the stage but potential was there but uh, sometimes i get his hes- uh, hesitate during giving lecture spontaneous speaking is difficult to me and that some sort of uh, out of comfort zone whenever i wanted to go some hesitation was there and i wanted to reduce that hesitation and little bit problem in speaking english i was i i, I was thinking i am having so that was my challenge that were my challenges before coming to this workshop biggest improvement i got that uh, what vishal said that if you are having potential that doesn't make 
difference unless and until you are committed 100% and that that crossed the level means definitely i uh, i remember in the past i was having little bit potential but i was not committed and that is the biggest thing i achieved within this two days workshop then second thing whatever the spontaneous speaking i came to know the ways of spontaneous speaking on any topic whichever given third thing that no although i was little bit confident but that hesitation was there whenever i was going out of comfort zone that hesitation gone completely um, i attended so many workshops before that courses but uh, i found vishal as a live example of uh, as a mentor because uh, he actually the our mentor should not be like that he is just speaking something but he is not following in his life i found vishal that out of the, on the stage and off the stage he is similar constantly boosting our confidence commit having 100% commitment and not for the workshop only or not for this two days only he is um, uh, whatever he was speaking from the heart bottom of the heart and he wanted that everyone should should do it uh, that not only looking for the uh, not only saying that he should uh, everyone should do it he was looking for doing it everyone or not and constantly bombarding on that that's the great point i found and great difference i found in other mentors and vishal vishal uh, i would recommend not only those who want to be a successful public speaker or leader everyone uh, must have one mentor in their life definitely to improve to create balanced life balanced professional personal as well as family life and vishal vishal is the best person from which everyone should get mentorship and uh, here before coming here i was thinking that i want to improve public speaking only but the biggest thing i achieved again that out of comfort zone and everyone should come out of comfort zone when we want to get a, a financial freedom when we want to get a time freedom and balanced life and for that everyone must attend vishal's workshop